Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guess what is up? It's time to play a little Schnarfstan, and the way in which we're going to play is we're going to tap into this Malagod Rogue. I think I talked to you a little bit about uh, seeing this on Ryzen TV, R-Y-Z-E-N. He does a lot of Rouge play. And this one, mmm is so good. I think I talked a little bit about this uh, last week, but I'm in the mood to win. I haven't really been playing much. I'm still, uh, I think, sporting rank 15 or 14 or something like that. We'll find out soon enough. <clears throat> um, it has a couple of the familiar cards that we see in the Rogue. It has our Backstabs, Deadly Poisons, Eviscerate, Sap, uh, Fan of Knives, SI7 Agent. It's... The extra little spirits in here that I like quite a bit. Uh, you'll notice there's actually not terribly many uh, creatures. I think there's only ten. We have Blood Mage Thalnoth, which is fine. But then we have two Earthen Rings, two SI7 Agents, so that's five. Antique, Azure Drake, Harrison, Thorison. There's another five. Gadgets and Malagos is not a lot. In fact, Gadgets and is nice to have in this deck because we have so few other minions. There's no Piloted Shredder, there's no Violet Teacher, some of the more standard cards to just be getting out there dealing damage. There's no Tinker Sharp Sword. But what's fantastic is MFing Malagos. And a couple of cool things to think about with this. The Double Shiv and Double Fan of Knives actually gives us a good way to... Um, draw into our combo cards more often. And of course, as you will obviously note, Malagos works well with a shoe! Uh, Sinister Strike is in here because it is a zero mana Pyroblast. Think about it. Think about it. Run that through your head. It's basically a Pyroblast. So, you, you Thorison to drop the cost of a couple cards. You can play Malagos for eight. Sinister Strike for eight damage for zero mana, and then you can do something like play an Eviscerate for one mana, nine damage. And if you don't have the Eviscerate, no big deal, you can play Shiv for six. It's so tight. Valera versus Raw. For Doomhammer. What? Okay, here's the question. Do any of you have weird collections of things? Joe Locke, I did not stream my brutal Wings of Liberty playthrough. I think I played the entire Wings of Liberty off air. I'll probably keep the eviscerate. Yeah, do you have any weird collections? Do you have any weird collections? Like, I collect a beverage from every country I go to. A weird one. Like, uh, I still can't remember the name of, uh, or, or how to pronounce it correctly, but I think it is a Nygardia, is what I got from Sweden. Here we go. This is a little bit too juicy of a combo. So Tetsu says I collect business coins. Morpheus says I collect board games. Nah. It's not that unusual. Steam games. Oh, LeMeo. Avery Tarks. I didn't realize I was going to become a prolific Here collector of... Steam games, but here I am. Oh, you know what's also cool about this? It runs a second Blade Flurry, because even though there's only two uh, Deadly Poissons... Um, perfect. Malagos turns that into a Mega Sweeper, if you know what I mean. Here we go. Oh. I also have Picardi Sweat from Korea. Jacrops is like collect antique maps. Does anyone have any photos of some of their collections around here? Who wouldn't love a good photo collection? Alright, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I love Earth and Ring Farseer because I feel like the plays you can make with it are really good here. Here we go. That's not a bad question. Mmm. Keeping the board clear, probably just gonna run sprint out, just straight up. Joe Lux says I collect shot glasses from everywhere I go. When I get my own house, I'll have a man cave and have them on display. Ooh. Damn. 
All right, is there any way that we can possibly break through this nerd? If I blade flurry and do... Ah, blade flurry seems like a really important thing to have. I think I'm actually just going to run this. Here we go. No, I think I like this a little more. If I hit like this and then run out. This. I think I like that. The scourge will consume you! All right, here's my thought. Here's my thought. Are you ready? Are you ready for the thought? The thought is we're just going to get a preparation and a sap. There's a preparation. And there's the... Hmm. I think the correct play is for me to preparation and return my Earthen Ring Farseer back to my hand. Or, or to eviscerate it. Is that right? Because he's gonna get, he's gonna fill his board now. I think I'm just too fucking good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and accept that. That's good value. Damn. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we got it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. So we're still okay on the HPs. Is that the right play? I think this is the right one. By the power of Ragnarok, I have the power! Do I just want to equip my weapon? I think it's okay. I think it's an okay play. We're dropping a lot of things low. Getting low a little bit here. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I think I think we're okay. Here. Okay, that's, that doesn't help this way. I think I'm actually just gonna do a little digging. Well, there's, there's, the, there's the man himself. So I think I actually probably don't want to use this. I think I'm gonna... How much damage can we do? A lot? I think that's okay. really good for us. I know, I hear you, kitten. I know. Do I use this right now? I think maybe I do. 
like this. Job's done. Actually, that would have been sick if I just used the other shiv on the face. All right, okay, okay, sure. Here I am. I, I can pet you now. Oh yeah, you're a happy cat now. There you go. It's cat dad. Hello, it's me. Hello. You don't have to get your claws in there. I got you. She found the box. Time to see if you can fit in there too. Death does not scare me. That scares me for Death sure does not in this scare game. Me. I think I think Malagos did some good work for us. I did I miss Lethal? Uh, if I had used the ship here and then run out these two guys, I could have. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go. Gonna hit, hey, and then I'm gonna lights out. hit a little bit. Here and then I'm gonna go. get a creature out of it. Alright, great. My eyes are open. That belongs in a museum. I think I should, I think I should have run this guy a little earlier. So I think this is a, I think this is a good position. I think I'm in a good position to win. We're gonna get the capture from Look up uh, Twitch Storm, I believe. No lightning storm one time, no lightning storm one time! Oh! All I have to do is say it loud enough. It's okay. Let's find out what's gonna happen. A sensation that we're gonna win this. See? Look at that. Malagod saving the day. No lightning storm one time. You win this Dude, the Malagod Rogue is in good shape. Oh my god, we're ranked 15, man. We took a dive at some point. Oh, look at this. Accomplishing our quests. Like gadget god there. Was this the same guy we played last time? I sure didn't look. You like how I saved those preparations? That was sick. Have I tried an Osdormu deck? Innervating out in the Larma bot and another door was fun. God, that does sound fun. This is some good stuff. Oh, Jumsy too. What's up with you? Welcome. You have thusly been knighted. You've been duly brought into the fold. Just, oh, I remember that card. We were just doing a playtest before, um, before the good old uh, stream went live. Hmm. I think what I should do is just accept damage to my face. It looks like it's a Murloc, a Murloc Shaman. I wish there were trading of something in this game. 
I recognize the joy of it being a collectible card game and not a trading card game. So I'm sort of, I'm sort of cool with that component. But you know, I'd really love to like... Ugh, that's not exactly a great turn if I do that. Hmm. Which one's better to keep? I think I should just do this. I don't- I kinda wanna be a little bit better with my man there, but you know, whatever, it don't matter. Whatever! Oh, we were talking about collections. Yeah, tell me about some awesome collections you have. Yeah, good play test today. Feeling happy about that. Put this apple on your head. You know what's actually what's actually the most insane thing? The most in insane thing about having a game where you can do different things is that you think you know what the players are gonna do, and then they just don't do that. <gasps> cool! Uh, so it's just so weird. And it hurts when it makes your game way worse. That's the bad feeling we want to avoid. Oh, if we heal, and then we... No, I think this is probably better. I'm not really sure what this will help him do in his deck. Oh. I think I actually do want to do this since he is very aggressive. What really hurts is when someone sits down to play your game and they find a really good way to play that makes your game suck. Splashman says, show us an example of predicting what a player would do. Here's a prediction. Well, in a game of soccer, whoever wins, whoever scores the first goal, doesn't that person just immediately win? Like, or whatever team scores the goal, don't they just immediately win? Because why would they not just hand the ball to the goalie and just hold on to it the whole game? That would be a sort of predictive thing where no one really does that, so you don't really think about it, but there actually is a rule that states uh, how long the goalie is allowed to hold on to the ball and under what circumstances they're allowed to pick it up, right? Because I wonder. you can't just chuck it to him. Yeah, so it's like a degeneracy and they just said, all right, we're gonna make a rule for that. And so, you know, if you were the original designer of soccer, you get this idea, you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna come up with this great game, whoops. It's gonna be called soccer, and the way it's gonna work is however the hell, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm a great game designer, I've come up with the game of soccer. Game. Yeah, I'll call that a foul Passing is cool, goals are cool, and then someone breaks it like that, and you're like, oh my god. Oh, they just hold on to the ball. We gotta come up with a rule. Or we have to completely throw out the idea of the goal, right? You have to do some change to your game. Now what's really bad is, here's something that you don't see in soccer. That's great. You don't see that play. I think I'm just gonna hit it with the face, right? Here we go. Guys, toast. Okay, I'm just gonna do that because I have good tools here. And when you make those sort of fixes to your game, where you you have an overall core that's really cool. Oh, I remember what I was saying. Yeah, so here's a potential problem that would happen in soccer. Why is it the case that a team doesn't have almost all their players just sitting protective by the goal? Why do they actually step out? Oh. Based God Malagos, let's do this. Why don't people just play really defensively? Why would they ever run the risk of moving a player out onto the field to go kick the ball? Why wouldn't they just hold back by the goal? Now, I'm using this example because everyone's like, well, because they, they you, do you watch soccer, idiot, right? Like, everyone has a good understanding of how it's supposed to be played. Hey, that's an okay one. Uh, watch, watch this sprint. 
Watch this. Blade Flurry is gonna be coming in off the top. Oh, a Shiv? Oh, I bet. <gasps> Hold on to that Shiv. You bet your butt. You are finished! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I do it now? I think I should do it now. Because there's no other time I'm gonna be using this one. Yeah, everyone knows how soccer actually works, but what happens is when you're a designer, you sit in a room with some very smart people and you say, hey, smart people, let's crack this one specific problem. And you say, or let's, let's make a game. And everyone's like, I think this would be really cool because you can imagine the player wanting to do this. And then someone says, but wait, man, I see a problem with this soccer game that you're, you're talking about. Is that it? Is that lethal? <laughs> this guy's tough. Here we go. Yeah! Boom! Get oh my god, Malagos the god. Yeah. But when someone says to you, Hey man, I've come up with this really cool game called Soccer, and here's kind of how it works. And someone who's listening, who's like a real good game analyst, is going to go, Wait, wouldn't... Why, would the, why wouldn't the players play defensive? What incentivizes them to actually walk forward to go to the ball? Why wouldn't they just be really conservative and really safe? Why wouldn't they do that? And you might say, oh, I have, the, uh, I have this explanation. And the other person says, well, but no. I mean, like, my, my reasoning is robust. And then you put it in front of people and you test and you start gathering data. And you start to see, oh, oh, I see. Ice, I'm starting to get the flow of this game, I'm starting to understand why they would want to move forward and be aggressive. Watch your... The short answer is that really, having your team spread out is like super advantageous because of passing. Oh! This seems like a good starting hand. We're against a shaman. Shaman! Yeah! Oh, this opening hand. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Oh yeah, I remember, because we had a play test and it was pretty good. Um, because they were playing a game in just really interesting ways that I, I would not have thought. Yeah, Cerebral says it right. Games would be a lot easier to make if there weren't players. This is just a great starting hand for me, wow. Oh yeah, Mark C where it says explain to the stream the offside rule in soccer. Basically, offsides, well let's state the problem and the solution. Which is that, okay, imagine I'm a goal. You're trying to get a ball in me. See, look how quickly I got everyone's attention. <laughs> um I won't say this other one. Got everyone's attention. Like that. I'm the goal, you're trying to get a ball in me. And you're trying to pass it to your friend who is the pen. Look at the pen. Look at the pen. And let's say all these fingers are the enemy. These are enemy fingers. You're trying to get past my enemy fingers to pass a ball to this pen so that you can get a ball in me. Have everyone's attention. Do you see this? Isn't that incredible? Do this. So here we go. You, the pen, if you pass the ball to this pen, that would just be game-breakingly good, because he could just ah, put, put the ball straight into my mouth. You just shot it right past these five guys. So why don't we see people just chilling at the back end here? Why don't we just see that all the time? And the answer is because that's just deemed too good. So. The pen has to be in front of one of these guys when the ball is initially kicked. And only then is it legal for the pen to actually go uh, collect the proverbial ball. Ha, this guy's toes. Ha, this guy's toes. I think I want to kill this one. It's called offsides. They literally said, 
that's too broken to be able to pass the ball to someone who's way behind the defensive line. We just we just can't allow that. So we're just gonna make a rule that just says you, you can't, right? Like, and no one, or I should say, when you're when you're a wee lad like me who's trying to watch a little bit of soccer for the first time ever, no one says this out loud. Nobody says this. It's just kind of one of those hidden rules. But it's actually not hidden. It's actually bullshit. Because when you find out about it, it's so unsatisfying. It sucks, dude. I hated finding out about offsides. I was like, offsides? No, offsides. Oh, come on, make it pretty. Let me talk to you about a pretty... Wait, what do you mean, white coin? Did I fuck up? Didn't get lost. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I completely screwed up. My bad. Whatever. Um, I'm thinking too much about football. AKA soccer. AKA is it's actually football. Um, here, here's a rocket thing that I think is so sexy. I love when there is when there is a hidden solution. I think uh, even though I kinda wanna I wish my fan and eyes would be better than this. Hey. It's kind of okay. I I'm prepared to do something. So here's a problem that would come up in Rocket League, all right? You make a square court or field or whatever you want to call it. Or <laughs> raceway. Mm, that doesn't look good for us at all, does it? Oh, yes it does. Yes, it looks, it looks just fine. Yeah. Oof. <gasps> Lights out. Uh, wait, did I just did I just miss lethal? Uh, plus three, plus five, plus three, plus five is eight, so he would be at six. Plus two is four. Damn, we almost got lethal. Back from me, junk heat. Back me, junk heat. Oh, shoot. Okay, here's the problem that would happen. You make a rectangular court. And you know what happens when the ball goes to the side? It gets stuck in the corner. Think about three points meeting there. That feels so good. Here we go. I hold on to these. No. Huh. Oh. That kind of sucks. Maybe I'll just wait a turn. So kind of like imagine the three points meeting and the ball kind of ricocheting around there. It would it would sort of like bounce back towards you and it would get stuck there. Like, uh. So what they did is they just made it very curved in the corner. They just made it very curved. Oh, I can play sprint for twelve. I can play this for five to reduce the cost to nine. Shit. God, I hope I can just get Dirty Malagos next turn. Ugh. Yeah, like, they, they they just made it a rounded edge. You can drive up it so you can knock it around. So when you hit it in the corner, it actually rolls to the center. And this, this is like a hidden solution. It is literally unnecessary to describe to anyone. People just kind of know what's going on. I think, I think we're fucking dead. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Emperor Thorson, you came too late. Whoosh. 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 Malagos. We need to draw into this shit, man. We need to draw into this shit. Ugh. But he's wondering what that's doing in the deck. Oh, yeah. I ain't give up. Well played. Well played. He's no problem. I love when designers do nice, subtle, cool things. Jet lag collects dragon. When we come back, we're going to take a look at Jet lag's dragon collection. Oh my god. Yes. Stay tuned, baby. Let's listen to some D Tiberio. He is my, my artist of the month, if you didn't know that.
Except for this song. This song's not actually good. This song's good.